own friend and mentor to many of the young graffiti writers. Why do you think that he realized that this was stuff worth holding on to? He believed there was a real uh, creative value to what these kids were doing, and he really bought into who they were. He saw them as artists, not hoodlums? Yes, exactly. He, he really very strongly believed that. But others object to glorifying graffiti, arguing that it's a sign of a city out of control. It is filthy. It is, it is spirit-killing. Heather McDonald, who writes about urban policy for the Manhattan Institute, says she is angry about the exhibit. It does not focus sufficiently on the corrosive effect that graffiti had on the city's spirit. Anybody who could avoid the subways in the 1970s and 80s that, that could, did. The exhibit presents graffiti in the context of art. You're suggesting that this isn't art. It is vandalism. It is an appropriation of the public's space or somebody's private property without permission, and nobody has a right to do that. It's only graffiti or vandalism if you get arrested. But if you get away with it, then it's clearly art. In fact, graffiti began to disappear from streets and subways as New York City became more vigilant about cracking down and cleaning up. But it has left a lasting impression on our culture. Futura 2000 has become a graphic artist who has worked for Nike and Levi's. Lady Pink is a painter whose work has been exhibited in several museums. And so is Days. And the graffiti movement paved the way for world-renowned artists like Keith Haring, Banksy, and Shepard Fairey, who created the famous Obama Hope poster. It all delights this trio of graffiti pioneers. I think we're all pretty grateful right now to have had that experience, you know, because a lot of people pine for it. You know, they, they oh, wow, must have been so cool back then in New York. And you know what? Yeah, it was. And you <laughs> missed it, okay? <laughs> the museum says... This has been one of the most popular exhibits in years. And whether you like the work or what it stands for, there's no getting away from the fact that all of this was created by the very young. The trains you see is done by a 14-year-old, 15, 16-year-old. It is done by kids. When was the last time we've ever seen an important movement be contributed by teenagers in our American culture?